Welcome to the Witch Life Carnival. Have you got popcorn? Hi, Alfie. Hello. How's it going? I'm off to the Gamblier place. Right. Not having fun. I'm gonna what go can I do for you to make you have fun? Mm. Even I regret this decision. Yeah. I, I regret this decision. Baron Cohen, you're absolutely smashing it. I don't know what kind of magic you're using, but you're doing it really well. Oh my god, Connie's are so stupid. Is that like a record? If you had stayed on there another few seconds, I would have been like, nah, that's bullshit. <laughs>
I didn't know you were in the scene, but good on you. <laughs> Problem solved. And then you hear a, 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 a woman, probably like an older human woman, she says, I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine. Oh, okay. What's going on? God. <laughs> she says, Mr. Witch, uh, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, and she says so in their, their, their voices as if they've introduced themselves, um, and then says in a different voice, are causing me trouble. My, I've lost my powers recently. Uh, I wander off over as well. Going, she, says, going on? she says, I've lost my powers recently. And she, she does a, a, a thing with her feathered hands, uh, try, uh, almost like she's trying to summon a spell and it's not working. She says, my arch fay is in trouble. And I've oh. lost my powers. Bloody old, uh, like old dwarf, dwarf, dwarf mate. mate. Dwarf, dwarf mate. mate. You, uh, so you're a warlock? No. Got a patron thing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, I know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> then I found the right people. Says, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> What's the name of your patron again? I think I wrote it down, but maybe I didn't. Zybil. Oh, I didn't write no. it down. Is that different? That feels different. I think that's uh, what. It's the same name that the dwarf oh, gave great. you. I, I, I think that's the same. I eventually found it. it I think that's the same, same yeah. Zybil, she says in a deep, sort of authoritative female voice. And then she says, Mr. Witch and Mr. Light, they've. they're. They seem to know more about this than they're letting on. What are you and I for? want to find out what they know about Zybil. Why do you talk funny? Because they can only the mimic race. things that ah. they uh, Before we go uh, agree to this, can you please tell me a bit more about Zybil? What's the, what are they the... Uh, what are, uh, <laughs> <laughs> just, just roll a giving up check. Just like a, just a charisma, I realized, I realized I said all I wanted to, <laughs> yeah. but then kept You're talking. Fine. So, uh, Zybilna, tell me about her and what she's like and what she looks like and um, the things with the other <laughs> Trying uh, to read Tell me about uh, and the patron and the. Um, and the way that Zabilna is with the things that Zabilna does, and tell me about that. You could have said that more efficiently. Yeah, no, I probably just with the first uh, question I asked. Yes. Um, she, because it's irritating for me to speak as a Kenku, everything she's saying is a mixture of other people's voices stitched together. No, 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 that won't do. <laughs> <laughs> well, Conti then. continue in Rob's voice. Um, she says, Zabilna's an arch fay. She lives in the uh, Iwolan forest, and she is a patron to many warlocks. But her power being missing now, it's, it's, it's an indication that she's in another plane of existence, perhaps, or is, has been stripped of her powers. Right. I need to get to Iwolan, and they won't, they won't tell me about it. It seems they know, they know more than they're letting on. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're saying witch and light have something to do with this, or you, they know more you than You hear like a check mark. Right. Right. Uh, and and you don't want us to go to Evelyn, you want us to check out Mr. Witch and Mr. White. Right. What I need from you is a diversion. <laughs> Mr. Witch and Mr. Light are avoiding me. But I need something. From mm, them. What do you need from them? I need you to create a big enough commotion that they're forced to talk to me. You have found the right man. You have found the right people. So we can make a hell of a difference. Chaos is kind of what we specialize in. <laughs> yeah. Actually. Yeah. In a, in a funny kind of way. She seems cool. to want for you to disrupt the carnival as much as possible so that so that they have no, it's more trouble than it's worth for them to keep ignoring her. And they'll be like, fine, fine, fine. Stop f***ing up the carnival and we'll tell you what you want. How? Why are we sorry? What, uh, why are we helping her? Because otherwise she'll dub you in that you've been cheating. And yeah. Okay. Hey, Bob. Yo. Yeah, mental yep. pathway. Yeah. Yep. So then I start thinking. Oh, um, okay. I don't want to do anything that may look like magic. So because I still want that ring. So yeah, right. <laughs> anything we do needs to be physical. Maybe we start a bar fight. Who knows? We've been given a mission to create as much chaos in this carnival as possible. Okay, but we can't use magic because if I use my magic, they can get onto me. That's a very good point. All right, we need to be very careful about how we create this chaos. We, we need a very reasoned plan. Something with steps. Something with absolute logic. Okay. That sounds like I can't hear what you're saying. I am gonna create a whole lot of chaos. What? What? We How? were speaking we were... about the. What? Oh, I assume I, I can only. I, 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 I assume you were gonna tell me to do something chaotic. Okay, so I turn <laughs> to Ken Kern or whatever, 
And I go, so, so you want us to create a ruckus and then offer an ultimatum to Witch in Line and say, we're going to keep ruckusing unless you help out old Cancun. Yeah. No, I Got think... it in one. Okay, okay. Mm. I was going to say no, but something was a diversion, but okay. Right, so well, how the hell? I light this on fire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you walk over to a stall. Oh my god. <laughs> I was just fire. about to say, maybe we should sit down and talk about how we do this. <laughs> As you sit down to talk about it. You're a man of action. But you get silver. You don't have a lighter. <laughs> you don't you have, have a lighter, but you, you don't have, have a tinderbox. So you, like, and... you just walk over to a stall so and I you just go, start. I go, right, the guys, guys, okay, guys, let's have a think about, hey, Bodger, what do you do? Oh my god! And the dwarf, uh, and the, and the dwarf uh, at the stall. At least you assume he's a dwarf. He's got tiny little nubbins of green horns and uh, pointed ears. Oh yeah, there's only for a man in the place. Hey. And he goes, <laughs> "Have you uh, uh, roll oh, up? Yeah. We've got some more of the. Wait, could you stop? What are you doing? What are you? Are you setting a fire to my tent? Hey, hey. <laughs> could you not, please? This, is this part of something? Is this? Am I being punked? Oh, Ash, are you around? Could you? No, 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 oh my god, he set it on fire, oh god, oh we need to do something, we need to do something, um, oh god, oh god, oh god, hey, starts to tick, he's like, could you stop it, stop it, hey, 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 and then just to make more, no, I just start going, ah, ah, right, so what, so what about just doing this, what else are you doing? I, I, I don't I know because this isn't a plan. Like I don't know what the I, f- we're I, doing. I just back away into this crowd. I, I'm I'm part of this crowd as well. I'm just like <laughs> looking into the crowd. The crowd oh my are God. interested in like a fortune teller that's in the uh, ah to, biscuits. Uh, buying um, some, buying some fruit <laughs> veg from this guy to throw at some guy in a stop. Um. You're, you're just still standing here in front of the I'm just like, screaming. well, that's on fire now. There's guards. Um, there's guards now like running towards you. Um. Um, um, think, Bob, think, think, um, ah! <laughs> <laughs> What's the commotion? What's going on? Fire! No, 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 no. Fire right here! It's fire! Fire! Ah. Get a bucket! Get a bucket! Oh, sorry! Everyone! Fire! I'm What's that? Oh, oh, oh. What's, what, what's Bob doing? Is he just doing this? I'm just like, what? What, because no. we need to basically okay, blackmail I'm, Witch and Light, and I don't know how we're going to do that because you just set something on fire and started screaming. They're just going to kill you or something. I thought we're making a distraction, aren't we? Yeah, just causing as much commotion yeah. as you can yeah, to be yeah. a big of an issue for them. Uh, All Mr. right. Mr. Light comes <laughs> slinking around the corner with his jester's outfit, and he's like, All right. What's all the commotion about? Why are people not having fun? <laughs> Mr. Light, I telepath into his head, and I go, Into Mr. Delight's head? Yeah. Okay. And I and I say in my demon voice, we're gonna cause you a lot of trouble unless you help Cancun. Whatever oh. your real name was. Cancun. That's interesting. You didn't get a name. Nobody bothered to ask her. Yeah. Yeah, Cancun. They are. <laughs> so you're like, we're gonna cause a lot of trouble unless you I quickly go, I go, we're gonna Cancun. cause a lot of trouble unless you help. What's your <laughs> name? You, you hear Oh no push-ups. <laughs> when you ask her name, you hear Kettle. <laughs> Because plus jug jug boil <laughs> for the room. The name's kettle steam. Kettle steam. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're gonna cause a lot of trouble for you and make your life very unpleasant unless you help out kettle steam. As he's kind of working, he's sort of looking around, looking. Oh, I don't are you making it? Are you making it obvious that it's you that's saying it? Are you try, just doing no, this for no. a? Trying <laughs> to avoid it. Can you make a stealth check, please? Oh, it'll be good. That's a seven, but I just, because I was just reading my Cloak of the Bat and I get advantage on dex things on this, don't I? Is that right? Yeah, dex checks, stealth checks. You have advantage on stealth checks? Yeah, apparently so. Yep. And when and you're in an area of delight and blah, blah, blah. F***ing check me out. <laughs> Read your things. Yep. And that is a six. I'll take the original. <laughs> Great. <laughs> um. If you want to, as you're, as you're trying to stealth your way in, you feel like you could tap into some... Potential. Uh, yeah, I could. Uh, seven, but uh, my stealth is already nine, so that's that's, that's a 16. sixteen. So I think I think that's enough. All right. As you as you as you stealth into a what are you in, in this crowd? Yeah, crowd yeah, people, yeah. And you're like st- looking across to which light to connect mark. to make the connection, and then kind of looking down. He looks around because you hear his voice respond. Oh, this is an interesting arrangement. Isn't it though? Who am I speaking with? 
Meanwhile, I've unclasped this horse. <laughs> I hit it on the butt. Get out! The guard's like, wait, wait, what are you doing? No, it's, 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 not, it's not in danger of the fire. <laughs> Don't, no, that's the <laughs> And this guy's now telling the guard, it was him that set the fire. Wait, what? Did you cause the fire? What's what? going on? I. Uh, <laughs> I, I okay. cast another it's major and, and I, I cast another major image in the crowd or someone who just kind of like steps into the crowd and goes uh, oh my god everything's gonna burn down oh chaos and I, use, and I use my mage hand and I undo this guy's trousers and drop them Hey. I don't know what's going Where on. Where the good guys? I don't know what's going <laughs> on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This firstly, is made for us. Yeah. Firstly, what is? I, I literally designed an encounter where it's like, cause chaos, everybody, yeah. so that you'd have fun with it and be like, yay, oh, we yeah. can finally do the I, thing. I just make the image of a of a, of a small dwarf with a big beard. Right. And, and he and he runs around. What's he saying, sir? He's shouting, uh, "Oh my God! The entire carnival is going to burn down. It's all going to burn down." Ah, nah, nah. Can you roll a percentile for me, please? Ooh. Uh, where's the other one? There it is. 80. 80. Straight 80. Yep. Dot on. 8 0. As you cast this major image, you remember that your tides have cast earlier, and so your wild surge happens. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and, uh, and illusory butterflies and flower petals explode, explode from you in the air within 10 feet of you for the next minute. And then I start going, <laughs> they've done something with the butterflies! So he's shouting all down, going, they've done something with the butterflies, everybody! <laughs> Quickly, run! Run! And yeah, my mage hand goes in and, and then you leisure demand try and, try and yeah. drop trap. <laughs> this guy? Yeah, uh, yeah, that I'm, guy. I right. start picking up apples and just start throwing them. <laughs> <laughs> but <it's a> <laughs> the, the, guy, the guy's not chasing <laughs> you down. He's <laughs> like, what's wrong with this guy? He's like, what are you doing with the fruit? Put the fruit <laughs> down! I, I, I <laughs> am using actor and dress as Mr. <laughs> Mr. Light. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. wait, what? <laughs> How's that? Yeah, hello, yeah. All right, so your actor allows you to mimic his voice perfectly. Because yeah. you've heard him speaking for more than a minute, a minute now. Yeah. Uh, and perf- and like, pass yourself off with his movements. Yeah. But, but in order to look like him in his garb and things, mm. you'll need to use something that disguises you in that way. Yeah, right. Do uh, you have any sort of item that disguises yourself? <laughs> I might have disguised self. Yep. Uh, Do you have anything that? that might that might have? Oh, mask of there it is. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to use my mask of familiar faces that he stole from an innocent shopkeeper. It was it was dark days. And it's going to come and it's going to come in handy now. Well, I don't so, know about handy. It's just going <laughs> to cause a little bit of confusion. It's going to help maybe. Yeah. So you uh, you whip out this this mask and you you slip it on and you think about uh, his 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 persona. Yeah. You, you get yourself into your character. Ha. Ah, okay. I'm an actor. I'm an actor. I am playing the part. I am the part. Yeah. What's what's Greg's pre warm pre warm up for his a- acting? What is he? <coughs> how does he get himself? Hala! What's the one you go? Oh yeah. I am a jester. I am a jester. I'm a creepy jester. I am a jester. I am a jester. Yeah. I'm a jester. I'm a jester. I'm a, I'm a jester. How did he How did he walk? How, how did he walked He walked with his legs like this. <laughs> and then I step forth from the crowd. I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute. Who are, like, who are you? <laughs> I have another one of him, but I don't think I brought uh, it. I have another one of the exact same mini. I was hoping to. So find what it. end? I don't know. So yeah. you, so you, Chaos. so you become master, uh, master light. The only thing that differentiates you is that you can't make a staff of his appear. Yeah, uh, right. and he is still wearing. He is still using his um, his his scepter. Give me is, back my scepter! And, <laughs> and it is strongly swirling in the counterclockwise direction yeah. now. Nobody is having fun as as, the, as apples are being launched at people. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> I cast a, I cast infestation on him as well. <laughs> and so what is it? Some kind of save? A cloud. Of, yeah, he has to do. A, I don't want to do any damage to him, but he has to do a Constitution saving throw, and otherwise flies and flees and That's mites. only a twelve, which I think fails against. Against your DC, uh, and so, <laughs> and so fleas and, and mites start to like burst from his skin <laughs> as he's like got this weird grin on, and he's yeah. like, "What's going on here?" And he's just heard this demonic voice in his head that he couldn't pick out who the hell yeah. was doing it. <laughs> it's sufficient carnage happening. Yeah. And so, and then I telepath into his head, and I go, "So will you help? We'll keep going if you don't." Oh, fiddle dee What is all this madness? Oh, oh no! <laughs> Ah! Ah, bugs! Bugs everywhere! Where are these bugs coming from? Oh, goodness. 
He turns and uh, jams his staff into the ground and shouts, uh, Mr. Witch, I need your help! And the thing spins, and as it's spinning, it's kind of like sucking the air around it into like a vortex, which appears in this like whirlwind ahead of, uh, uh, atop his staff. And then whoosh, Mr. Witch seemingly just sucked from wherever he was whoosh, to this moment, whoosh, slams down as well. What's the nature of this? <laughs> An apple smacks him in the side of the head. Like, Mr. What Witch, is thank goodness what you is... came! Pasta! <laughs> <laughs> Stole my scepter! Can you make a performance check? And with your act feet, you get an advantage on this. I get advantage. Uh, three, hopefully this works out better. 19. 19. 19. All right, plus your performance modifier, which is pretty good. 20-something. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Witch. Thank God you're here. This imposter is taking my appearance. So there's chaos to him. in the carnival. He stole my scepter. Get what? back, you imposter. imposter. I'm the real Mr. Light. <laughs> Surely you recognize me. You gotta believe me, I have the scepter. He's there's something I don't know what and then he turns to him and they stop speaking for a moment but they lock eyes. I quickly telepath into their head and I read them out. You open the you open yeah. because it's a, a telepathic communication that's happening between them, you he, you sort of you eavesdrop on that and he says, It's kettle steam, she's she's come back with help. She's gonna continue until we stop until, if until we don't help, help, we will continue. Also there's that guy, I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Witch look gets his stopwatch out and looks at it. Fine. We will talk to her, he says to you. Right. Just stop all of this. The fire all is right. out of control. All right. Yeah, all the right. fire is now set fire to this entire dwarf's tent. Oh, we'll just, we'll just stop that. Gonna, I, the horses, I, the horses, horses, I go, okay, you can stop the fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bodger, you can stop now. He's, he's moved on from apples go. to oranges and uh, everything else. He's, he's, he's onto grapes. He's throwing individual grapes. <laughs> We're done. <laughs> this, Look, stop the fire. This crowd's like just moved off down here. Yeah. Ah, but yeah, I telepath streets. into all of our heads and go, okay, it seems like it's working. <laughs> all right, good. Good work, everybody. <laughs> Do you just stop? Do you drop it or do you just stop? <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't drop it entirely. I just stand and wait. <laughs> There's a, a, a voice uh, appears in your mind and Mr. Witch looks at you and goes, So who are you? Are you Kutcher or Asht or someone new? I sidle off into the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> I slink it. <laughs> just, just I homer something into the bush. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, can you make a stealth check? And because because that, uh, as you move back into the crowd, you shift your face into somebody else's face. Mm. I'll give you advantage All on right. the stealth check. Uh, fifteen. Take fifteen. Nice. Fifteen plus your stealth. Uh, seventeen. Seventeen. Nice. Whose whose face do you pick? You have with the uh, the limitation on the mask of familiar faces is you have it has to be someone that you you know or someone you've seen for a, at you least. Just a take minute. it off to be honest. Cool. So, I think can I just take it off? I haven't really. Yeah, I'm just gonna take it off. Um, so you stealth into the crowd, you seemingly disappear from him uh, uh, to avoid his, his questioning. Yeah. <laughs> that was weird. And then Kettle Steam starts to walk over to them and he says, Right you are. And he starts to walk over with them and then he stops and <laughs> turns around to which of them would he have known? You for sure. <laughs> can you now make? Can you now make an athletics check? We were as, all being so suspicious, and Pudge was just running around, setting <laughs> shit on fire two, and throwing things. There are two things. guards that are trying to like yeah. take you in, in now. Four. Hang on, what's this? This is a uh, athletics. Athletics. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, both of them got better than that. So you are now uh, ha handcuffed. Essentially, they've got manacles around you, and they're, they're dragging you back over to Witch and Light. And he says. Who was, who was working with you? <laughs> hmm? Uh, who are you working with? What's it? <laughs> you set fire to, <laughs> to Garrick's tent. <laughs> and you throw in <laughs> apples. Who else was, who was the one that dressed like Mr... What's that? What's that? Oh, you don't want to talk? Well, no, I can't believe it. What's that? Okay. For you? Okay. Huh. All right. Let's, 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 let's do it this way then. <laughs> and, he, and he walks in. He says, bring him. And I they, telepath into his mind. I go, you will let him go. He said, he, you hear back, uh, which one were you doing, which or light? Uh, which which, is, which is the big du burly dude, the, the thin, thin uh, guy. Uh, light, big burly dude. And he says, you'll have to do a lot, more, uh, a lot worse than that to intimidate me. Mm. Um, I use intimidation. All right, how are you doing it? What are you, what are you saying I, or doing? So I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, there's two guards, yeah, yeah. two human guards that are I, holding. I'm going to bust out of this. <laughs> I, I, I just, just, I just turned to one of them and, and, I, and this, well, this is what I say. I go, I'm going to cut you. <laughs> Real calm. All right, make an intimidation check. 
Well, that's what you would like. Hope. 19 plus Ooh. my uh, <coughs> intimidation, which is like a lot. Uh, five. Just so you know, I'm going to cut you with a knife, real slow. The guard holding you seems taken aback and says, you need help, mate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just set fire to everything they've tried to subdue and you're like oh he, cut you. he like forcibly pushes your arm forward to try and like turn your head away from him so that he can step behind you yeah. out of your view but he keeps like marching you forwards it seems like it, it, it uh, upset him but he is he's still in a position of power he's got you in manacles right. and he's got a teammate that's still working with him okay. so he's got you but you've got one of them that's like I don't I'm not sure if yeah. I want to be dealing with this psycho I turn to the other one and I say I'm gonna cut you. I say, I'll, I'll cut you. Okay, okay, an intimidation check. Eight. Plus five. Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, they're, they're getting away, guys. They're getting when away. The, w- w- the one, that one goes. What's well, yeah, we Mr. Be... Light, can we shut him up? And Mr. <clears throat> Light goes, oh, yeah, of course. And he points his staff towards you and he we... wisdom saving we, 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 we need to do something. Yeah. And a wisdom saving throw from you. I think it's wisdom. Let me can, check. can you be like, stop, go, go, stop, or something? Net 20. Hey, nice. You feel like your mouth is being forcibly closed, but you like ah! matrix. And then you. Oh, I'm to about to potentially rage and start fighting if this continues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I don't really want to be seen. Uh, uh, I, I, I telepath into Light's head and I. Uh, biscuits! What do I say? I'd say let, let him go or he's going to f you up. Oh god. Um. I say let him, I telepath into his head and I say let him go or we destroy the whole carnival. Um he make an intimidation check. <coughs> 18 yeah, boys. plus 1 19. 19. Uh which one? I go into Light's head. Light. And I say, look, if you let him go, we will leave right now and you will never see us again. But if you don't let him go, we will destroy everything. We'll burn it all to the ground. Right, you are then. And then you hear him telepath into Mr. Witch and says, We've got to let him go. They're too much of an issue. Open the portal. And Mr. Witch, his, who is passing the uh, the spinning wheel that you were using before goes very well <laughs> and he spins it the other way to how it was being spun for use and then in the center a spiral starts and it's a, a a dark green that goes into like an emerald green as it reaches the edges and then all of a sudden as soon as it reaches the edges it seems to shift towards the center and a window opens up into it and it's just this swirling mass of colors and uh, he, as he passes it uh, passes it he says to the guards you heard the man, let him go. And then they turn, push Bodger through into this portal. Oh no. Ah, pass. Ah, uh, that's not good. <clears throat> pass. <laughs> oh well, so we just carry on. Tell <laughs> <laughs> you what it is. Oh, oh man. He's been pushed through a portal. I, I don't want to go. Yeah. H- Honeywood's like right there. It's, it's a honestly, few, it's, it's, a, just it's a couple there. of days' walk. Throwing it out there. Could we just go back to Honeywood? We could, we could, we could. That's and, the thing. Uh, is that something we're willing to do? Yes. So yeah, Honey- <laughs> Honeywood. Honeywood. I, I, put, Honeywood. I telepath into his head and I say, what was that? You told me to let him go. It's you who fail, failed to specify when or where. Bring him back or we burn this whole place. Bring him back or we burn this whole place to the ground. Oh, I can't bring him back. That's for- uh, Where did he go? All there? right, That's time to be the bad guys. <laughs> That's the, Michael Bay shot, spinning shot around the, the three. three. Back Poppy, back. flamethrower. <laughs> okay, budgets caused some chaos. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah, you know I'm always down for a bit of chaos, aren't I? Yeah. yeah it's time to put the the, the carnage into carnival. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's right. right. Let's do it. Let's oh. go. I don't have the power to bring him back. That power resides with the hourglass coven. Oh no. Burn this place to the ground. And go. <laughs> Where did he go? Follow him and find out. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, Honey, qu- it's qu- so qu- close, you ask, guys. Quickly ask Kittlesteam if they're happy enough for us to go. Kittle- Kittlesteam, we've helped you. One of our guys just got sacrificed. Can you help us? I'm telepathing into it. 
Um, you hear back in much less broken, it's still, she's still thinking in uh, sentences she's heard before, um, which indicates to you that it's on a much deeper level than the inability to make sounds. Like she can't really formulate her own thoughts. She has to piece it together from other thoughts. Uh, and she says, I, I'll, I'll help you get him back. Uh, I feel like I know where they've, they've taken her. It's where, it's where I've been asking them to take me. They're taking, they've, they've probably sent him to the Iwalin forest where, they, where these guys are from. Mm. And that's where, that's where she wants to go? Yeah. Because the Iwalin forest. Oh God. So I teleport, I teleport into your heads quickly. I'm like, you Months. know this area better than me. Yeah, How far well. away is Iwalin? Months walk. Biscuits. <laughs> like south, literally much, much further south than even the Anigthilivan Islands. It, it's like as far south or more than we went north to the, um, to the We're dead so cross. close to honey. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go home. Uh, so we're, go we're basically going further south than we went north if we go to Elwyn. The reluctant adventurers. Yeah. <laughs> Budge is there already. Do we just dip through the portal now? Is the portal still, is still open? Yep. It's still if spinning and it's not slowing. Just <laughs> as you're going through, can you fireball this whole place? This whole Because <laughs> I'm, I'm pissed off. There's a lot of independence and civilians. <laughs> um, burn it to the ground. Burn it to the ground. Uh, I want the ring. <laughs> <laughs> Let's f*** it then. I, I mage the hand the ring. I use my mage hand, I grab the ring and we run through the portal. <laughs> Alright, I'm do going it. to need a sleight of hand check from you. From me? Yep. All this is really because of trying one. to get the ring out. Right. Natural one. Yeah, okay. Natural no, one. no. Um, the ring was just part you, of it. You go to grab the ring she, with your mage did, hand. We were helping her uh, because she's But as you're getting there, because of the commotion, the person who was running that stall has started to pack it all away. And, the, and oh just gosh. as your hand gets there, she's grabbed the ring and put it in a box and <laughs> closed it up. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, nice. It's the portal. I like it. I, I imagine that more blue. Actually, that, that yeah. He said, he said green. green. He said oh, green. Can you imagine green. it like that? Okay, I guess we need to dip through. Is the Kinku coming with us? Maybe. Seems like she might be. <laughs> Here we go! Alright, off on another adventure! Alright, best uh, friends forever! Wait, I, 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 quickly, I, quickly, I quickly run over to the stall holder who I gave the nice firm handshake to earlier mm. and say, and I, I slip him Greg's address. What? Why? What? Because I'm like, if I end up winning, send what? To, if we can, I'll, I'll allow you to get away with this. If you can give me like a, a, a doo -doo, uh, flashback moment explaining why Bar Baradun has Greg's address on a piece of paper written out in his pocket. He's been there so many times. But he, therefore he knows it. Why would he, why does he have his oh, address he's, written he's on a piece of paper? He's writing it down to give to the guy. Oh, right. You just, you, you mimed, I give him his address. Oh, so yeah. I thought sorry, he sorry, had I, Greg's no, no, address. I wrote, I wrote this card. <laughs> No, no. I, so I, I pick up a piece of parchment. Right, which and get an ink quill. And you I write quickly it out. just write down. I go, hey, you know that ring that I won fair and square? Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, send it to this address. Why do you just have your address on a piece of paper? Yeah, it's my address. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. The way, you, the way you say that makes me think that it's not your address. But why would you? I'm sure giving me whoever's address this is isn't going to bite you in the ass later in the campaign. That's in that's ring. <laughs> that ring's going to appear. Why like does everything turn into such a cluster? <laughs> <laughs> this was designed to uh, to use that because <laughs> I was like I was like I was just about to say okay we should work out a way to cause chaos that doesn't draw attention to us so they don't <laughs> know it's <laughs> us. <laughs> and Bob just doesn't mean like I'm about to tell them we can see Budger in the background. <laughs> It's like just smacking horses on the okay. ass and just throwing Let's go through the portal. Let's go through the portal. Then just... Alright, let's go through the mystery portal. Guys, they are thieves. That's yep. what they do. Getting Before back. any description of further movement happens, I cast Shatter. A gangster you shoot anyway. Gangster <laughs> shooting! <laughs> 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 like, where's Barry doing? Oh, we're, we're just here. Boom. Next time I say let's create chaos, maybe don't just set fire to the first thing you see. Big thanks to Wizards of the Coast for sponsoring that episode. Their new adventure storyline, The Wild Beyond the Witchlight, is out on September 21st in America and Europe and October 15th in New Zealand and Australia. Check out the links below for all the information. 
Thank you very much. Skull Raoul.